Hello everyone, so I'm going to be doing a look for you today that is very chic but very glamorous, also very bold yet very simple, involving black and pink lips. I'm not going to be doing this look on myself however, I have the gorgeous Makula in today who kindly came in to model for me, so um, I hope you enjoy this look and find this either interesting or helpful and thank you so much for watching. I began by applying a translucent primer to the skin using a foundation brush. Starting with a matte foundation and blending it into the skin, making sure it's thoroughly blended around the eye area. I wanted the base to be quite light, so I'm only giving the skin an even coverage, gradually building up layers. Taking a bright orange concealer and knocking out any of the shadow that we get around the mouth. Shadow around the mouth area is very common in women with deeper skin tones. This colour correcting technique just knocks out any of the shadow. And applying a concealer underneath the eyes and through the highlights of the face, remembering to be very gentle. Then taking a very fine powder and setting underneath the eyes, taking the darkest shade from this palette, I'm mapping out where I want to sculpt the cheekbones. Then taking this far darker shade, creating flawless cheekbones. Then dusting through with our powder brush. Taking a waterproof gel liner, and apply that to the waterline and slightly into the inner corner. Map out and plot where you want your black flick and build up the colour intensity to create the classic black flick. Small delicate strokes make for perfect application. Completing the other eye and making sure you are checking for symmetry. Apply a black eyeshadow to the lower lash line and blend through with a clean brush. Then taking a black chrome line or a gel liner on an angled brush, start to line the lips. It is important to take the liner into the lips slightly as we do not want the lipstick to bleed. I find when you try to be neat with lip liner, you're more likely to make a mistake. So use small delicate strokes again with the lips to create a flawless lip line. Using an Il Masca lipstick in the shade Pristine, applying that to the lips, using it directly from the bullet for immediate colour payoff. Then apply Almasca's Intense Lip Gloss in the shade Repulse using a lip brush and really push that product into the lips to allow you to layer the product. A similar product would be Obsessive Compulsive Lip Tige. Building up in layers to create a flawless glossy black lip. Making sure every inch of the lip is covered and really push that product into the lips to allow you to really stain the lips and create a gradual layer. You may leave it there, but I'm adding a very bright pout paint. This one is by Sleek in the shade Pinkini and building that up in the centre of the lips and blending it into the black lip gloss. These sleek pout paints have very concentrated colour but they are not that long lasting. Their colour does weather down after several hours. Apply black mascara to the lashes and add a set of false lashes, adding a set of false lashes to add drama 
glamour to the eyes. You may apply the false lashes with tweezers or hands, whatever method is easiest for you. You may want to apply a black liquid liner to the root of the lashes. Then take a very pale colour and sweep it across the lid. Using a cream blusher on the same brush that we use to sculpt the cheekbones. Apply this to the cheeks liberally, making sure it's seamless. That more or less completes the look. I was satisfied with the end result. And even though that's been a very bright and bold look, it doesn't actually require that much makeup. And Makula definitely carries this look very well. I hope that you have found this insightful and interesting to watch. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And of course, take care of yourself. Bye.